personal hunch over a slow school and squinting to see a waveform, you're not alone. Today, I will show you a few simple ways to make your setup more comfortable, more efficient, and a little easier on your neck. Let's start with the simplest one, the stand. On most regal models, like this one, the feet fold out from the back. So just get them a gentle bit, like this. It puts the spring right in line of your side and makes the front panel easier to reach. For liner and portable model like the MH198 limited edition, let's try one hand on an arm. If your bench is packed with gear, this gets your scope up and out of the way. You can swing it around, tilt it, or pull it closer. Now you get a clean bench, air posture, and less neck strain. Next, have you noticed the HDMI port on the back of your scope? If you're working with a team or just want a bigger view, try connecting your scope to an external monitor using HDMI cable. Let's try the square wave. Now you can see the waveform in full detail. Perfect for debugging, teaching, or showcasing. If your scope is a little bit far away, or you just prefer working from a laptop, try remote control. Connect your scope to your laptop directly through a USB cable. And then open Regal software. Let's generate a sine wave. Now you can view the waveform, change settings, and capture screenshots, all from your laptop. If you want to learn more about this, let me know in the comments. And finally, for the larger scopes, like the DS70000 and DS80000 series, they have a screen that actually tilts. Let me show you. Now, you can just click on this button and angle the display up to 30 degrees. So, whether you're sitting or standing, the view stays perfect. It's just one of those small design details that makes your long lab hour a little easier. So that's it. A few small ways to make your oscilloscope setup a bit smarter and a lot more comfortable. You might already know some of these, or maybe they don't fit your setup. But that's totally fine. If even one of them makes your day in the lab a little easier, then it's worth sharing. And if you got a better setup idea, drop it in the comments. See you next time!